Hello everyone, in this tips and tricks video, I'm going to show you a cool tip using which you can make your code run faster, especially when you are performing re repetitive thing. So let's quickly understand this with the help of uh, how we can generate a Fibonacci uh, of a given number. So I'm going to write here a very standard function, which uh, most of you must have already seen this. So I'm writing a function fib, which will take a parameter, some number, and let's call it as n. So if n is less than and equal to one, we will return output as the same number, which is n. Otherwise, we will go ahead and calculate the Fibonacci. So let's write the recursive call over here. I would say fib n minus one, and then I would say again fib n minus two. So this is the standard way how we calculate it. Let me go ahead and print the result of this function. So I'm going to call this fib function on a number three. So as soon as I ran, you can see that the output is over here, which is two. And if I'm putting here 10, you should expect the output 55 and it is here. Let me increase this number a bit and let's say for 30, you want to calculate. So when I'm saying 30, it means before all uh, 30, whatever numbers are coming, we need to calculate those also, right? So this time you notice that it took a little bit more time. Let me quickly change it to 35. And this time it will take slightly uh, more time than what it was taking earlier. So this time it is taking noticeable time and you can say that it is still computing. And we, now we got the result. Now, as in when I'm going to increase this time, let's say if I'm saying 40, it's gonna take more than 15 seconds for sure. So if you would like to wait, we can wait here. Let's give it a few seconds. Okay, anyways, it's gonna take a lot much of time. So I'm going to cancel this computation here by pressing Control C. And let's see how we can make this code efficient or make this calculation more performant. So one way to do is uh, let's take an array of size n minus one and store all the intermediate results. So whenever you need the same value, you can just read that array and grab it. So, but I don't want to change my code. I just want to do very bare minimum changes, but still I want it to work. So how can we do that? So the trick here is to import the caching functionality and that you can use it using decorators. So you can say this is one of my most favorite decorator, which is quite useful. And I'm sure you will also find it very useful. So let's go ahead and try to use that. So I'm saying func tools import cache and the second change we need to do is we just need to decorate our function with cache so as soon as you will run this code now you can see that output is instantly appearing over here even if you are giving let's say 100 it should not take much time and your output is here so this is how easy to use this particular I would say decorator and make your things run much faster. I hope you enjoyed this short trick and thanks for watching.